You know what? Fine. Sharon, the NEA is a loser. Sure, it accounts for a penny out of our paychecks, but he gets to hit you with that anytime he wants. It doesn't cost money, it costs votes, it costs airtime and column inches. You know why people don't like liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so fucking smart, how come they lose so goddamn always? And with a straight face, you're gonna tell students that America is so star spangled awesome that we're the only country in the world that has freedom? Canada has freedom, Japan has freedom, the UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. Some 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. <laughs> and yeah, you sorority girl. Just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. One of them is, there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're 7th in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 179th in infant mortality, 3rd in median household income, number 4 in labor force, and number 4 in exports. We lead the world in just three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending. We're going to spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Now, none of this is the fault of some 20-year-old college student, but you, without a doubt, are a member of the worst period, generation period, ever period. So when you ask why America is the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? It sure used to be. We stood up for what was right. We passed laws, struck down laws for moral reasons. We waged war on poverty, not poor people. We sacrificed, we cared about our neighbor, we put our money where our mouths were, and we never beat our chests. We built great big things, made ungodly technological advances, explored the universe, cured disease, and cultivated the world's greatest artists and the world's greatest economy. We reached for the stars. We aspired for intelligence. We didn't belittle it. It didn't make us feel inferior. We didn't identify by who we voted for in the last election. We didn't... We didn't scare so easy. We were able to do all these things and be all these things because we were informed by great men. Men who were revered. first part in fixing any problem is realizing there is one. America is not the greatest country in the world anymore. Enough? Hey, I'm Riley Monahan from Ottawa, and it's April 25th, 2020.